Same-sex marriage supporters taking a moment tonight to celebrate the work of those fighting for marriage equality. Crown Force Philippe Jagal is in San Francisco for the ceremony. It's a night of celebration. The organization Marriage Equality USA recognizing who they're calling heroes of the movement for same-sex marriage. There's also a lot of eager anticipation ahead of the Supreme Court's upcoming decisions on Prop 8, the statewide voter-approved ban on same-sex marriage and the Defense of Marriage Act. Tonight's honorees, former San Francisco mayor and current Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom, San Francisco City Attorney Dennis Herrera, the law firm of Bingham McCutcheon also being recognized for its pro bono work for marriage equality. Marriage Equality USA says the fight for same-sex marriage has been a long one, but believes that ultimately all of the hard work will pay off. I feel very optimistic. You know, we have come so far. There's so many people in the country support marriage equality, over 50% in all demographics, all age groups, all races, all, you know, religions and, and political persuasions. Um, so, you know, I, I am confident that we will, with the a lot of hard work we will get there and tonight at 11 we'll hear from the honorees does lieutenant governor newsom believe that prop 8 will be overturned we'll share his answer with you tonight at 11. in san francisco philippe chagall cron 4 news gavin newsom's dramatic decision to allow same-sex marriages when he was mayor of san francisco didn't stand up to a court challenge but he did jump start a legal debate that may reach its conclusion at the u.s supreme court within a matter of weeks crown forge Catherine he and shows us what has happened over the last nine years. Same-sex couples filled the offices, halls, and stairways, but it turned out to be a short honeymoon. Within a few weeks, the state Supreme Court ordered the marriages stopped, and in August declared all of the nearly 4,000 unions null and void. The next year, California's legislature passed the country's first law legalizing same-sex marriage. Governor Schwarzenegger vetoed it. In 2007, California legislators passed a new bill, and it was vetoed again. In 2008, California's Supreme Court ruled that same-sex couples should have the right to marry. The 2004 unions were declared valid after all. Opponents of same-sex marriage began collecting signatures for a measure to ban same-sex marriage. In November of 2009, Prop 8 passed with a 52 percent majority. The next year, a federal judge declared it unconstitutional. In 2012, the Ninth Circuit Appeals Court agreed. And last December, the U.S. Supreme Court agreed to take the case. The justices heard the arguments in March and are expected to make their ruling next month. Catherine Heenan, Cron 4 News. And a first for the nation of France. Two men exchanging marriage vows there. Just 11 days after the legalization of same-sex marriage in that country, one of the newlyweds said today that the law was long overdue, adding all French citizens are born equal.